Hey, I'm Anthony from CodeCloud. In this video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Istio on Kubernetes using Helm. Let's see how easy it is to get this powerful tool set up. And don't forget, if you enjoy this tutorial, subscribe and like at the end. All right. In order to install Istio, you need a running Kubernetes cluster. You can use uh, Amazon EKS, uh, GKE, the Google's, or even uh, Azure's um, AKS. If you want to do a local environment, you can use either Kind or Minikube, but you do need a running uh, Kubernetes cluster. There are two options when it comes to installing Istio. You can use the Istio CTL, which is the Istio CLI tool, or you can use uh, Helm. We will review both ways as you will be asked to install Istio and it could be using either option. I'm going to go with the Istio CTL, but it's worth, you know, knowing how to install Istio with Helm because if you're using a production, you probably want to use Helm. You're not going to be using Istio CTL to install that. Now, before installing Istio, you need to download Istio CTL. Essentially, we will be using Istio uh, 1.18.2 as that is what the ICI exam environment will be. It is quite behind. You know, the latest, I think, is 1.25.2, I think. So it's quite behind, but that's what is based on the exam. And um, it has changed a little bit, but not crazy amount of new things. So we're going to stick with 1.18 because that's what the exam is on. You can find all of Istio's releases in uh, GitHub. You can just head to GitHub Istio and find all of the releases. But in page 8, you can find the version that we're going to need, which is 1.18. And that's the one that we have to install. You can virtually use any Linux uh, distribution. You can use the curl command, passing the version of Istio CTL you want to install. And once Istio is installed, you can uh, essentially change into the directory or the downloaded folder. And using the export, you include the, the path environment variable. And you can confirm that Istio CTL is running. You can see here that it says no pods in the Istio system. And that's because we installed, or this diagram right here, the screenshot, you installed Istio CTL, but you haven't installed Istio itself on the cluster. So don't get confused. Istio CTL version is just checking the version. Um, and it's just telling us that it's that 1.18.2. You also need to install kubectl, kubectl, whatever you want to call. You need this installed in your environment, and this is how you would install it, depending whether you're on 64-bit or ARM64. I suspect that a lot of people already have this installed. It will be available on our labs. So you don't have to worry about it, but I just thought it's worth uh, noting. If you want to install both Istio CTL and kubectl in your own OS external, you can use Brew. If you're not familiar with Brew, it's really just a package manager for OS X. Keep in mind that the version of Istio we're going to use is 1.18.2. So if you do end up going with uh, Brew on your Mac OS X, make sure that you uh, download and install the version we're going to be working on. But in our labs, like I said, they'll all be uh, 1.18.2. Now, once we have the kubectl, kubectl, and Istio CTL on our terminal, we can uh, have a look at Istio's profiles. Istio does include a few profiles here, as you can see. And here's just a quick overview of the profiles on the left here. You can see the core components. And on the right side, you can see all of the uh, profiles. There might be one or two missing here, but you know, you have the default profile, which uh, doesn't include the egress gateway um, for some reason. The demo that includes all but the ambient mesh stuff, the, that CNI and Z tunnel, that's the ambient uh, mesh uh, mode which we're not going to be uh, talking about or going over. So the demo is the profile we're most likely use. You have that minimal that only has the Istio D component, the control plane. You have remote and empty. And then you had this preview profile that it seems to be the same as the default. And of course, you have the ambient profile, which uses no sidecar. So it's a sidecarless mode. To install Istio using Istio CTL, we can run the Istio CTL install. We set a profile. We pass the dash Y for yes. It should take a few minutes and then you can confirm by checking the pods in the Istio uh, system namespace. And you can see right here that we have the egress and the ingress gateway as well as the Istio D. That tells me that Istio is installed. It's important to note that nothing happens if you install uh, Istio other than a few resources. Like none of your applications will be impacted. And that's because Istio is installed, but it's not enabled. And if you want to use Istio, you need to enable it. 
Assuming you already have, you know, the workloads, for example, like in the screenshot, in your Kubernetes cluster, you can inspect them. We know that Istio will inject a sidecar, but these deployments that you see right here, these pods, all read one of one, meaning that there's only one container running in these pods, which means that there is no Istio sidecar proxy injected in them. To enable Istio, we can uh, label the namespace. And after labeling it, so you can see right here, we're just labeling it istio-injection equals enabled. After enabling it, you can confirm that the label is there and uh, check. Now, once you see that uh, injection enabled right there, you can uh, check if your workloads in that namespace have istio sidecar. Now, if you see this one of one right here, you don't have to worry about it. You can just delete or recreate it. But the labeling of the namespace works great because it allows you to control where you want to use Istio. If you just install Istio and it would enable across everything, that means that every namespace would have a sidecar injected. Um, and you could, you'd be consuming a lot more resources. So the fact that you have to enable a namespace to use it is, I think it's a genius uh, way of, uh, you know, controlling those resources. Like I said, you can spend all the time, you know, restarting the deployments or you can just delete. For example, this book info right here application, we can recreate it again. We can check the pods and now you can see this two of two, which means that the Istio sidecar proxy is injected. You can easily inspect the pod to see what containers it has and uh, verify that one of the running containers inside the pod is the Istio proxy along with uh, the app pod. In this case, you can see the details container and then you can see the Istio proxy and there's the image right here that Istio proxy is using. Let's say that you don't want to, you know, enable a whole namespace for Istio injection. You just want to inject particular workloads. So you can do a manual sidecar injection. Now you do need to have a manifest YAML file in the system. So let's just say you, you pull down that book info, uh, using uh, wget that book info.yaml file. And then using Istio CTL, you can cube inject and add the Istio sidecar proxy to the deployment without labeling the whole namespace. This is definitely going to be in the exam. We will look a more into this later on, but just FYI, this is how you would do a manual sidecar injection. And you can just get your pods and you can see that they will have this two of two. Now, if you're using a uh, Helm, you need to install three components. So first you pull down the, the Istio re uh, the chart and you need to, like I said, three components, you need the Istio base. And this chart includes the uh, cluster-wide resources like service accounts, cluster roles, binding, et cetera, all that jazz. You have the Istio D chart, and this is the control plane, essentially the, the brain of Istio, very, very important. And finally, you need the Istio ingress. And this chart is used to deploy the ingress and egress gateways to the cluster. Once the components are installed, you can pretty much use Istio in the same manner as we discussed using uh, Istio CTL. Istio CTL does have a few options, really important ones, two in particular that I can think of right now. So you can use Istio CTL to validate an Istio YAML file, which is important so you don't apply files that have syntax errors, for example. So you can see right here that I can use Istio CTL validate and then the name of the file, and it tells me if it's valid. If there's any errors here, it will tell me that it can't. You know, it doesn't know what X, Y, Z means, or for example. So really, really important. We are going to use that. You can verify the installation, though the note that this does take quite a long time. And I don't think it's going to be in the certification exam. But if they do ask in a multiple choice question, for example, HTCDL verify install will go through the whole installation. It takes over 20, 30 minutes. And possibly the most important command that will be super, super useful is the istio ctl analyze command this dash a is for all namespaces for example and it allows you to see all of the if, if there's any errors really and we're going to be using this throughout the course and i advise that you always use it especially in the ICA exam there's one way of just analyzing that one namespace this is probably the one that you want to use during the exam whenever you write an istio configuration file any resources for istio you run the istio ctl analyze dash n and the name of the namespace and it will pick up any errors if there's any and it's always good to know that you made a syntax error or something but enough talk Let's head to a terminal and start practicing because after all, the ICA is hands-on. Now, using Helm to install Istio is very easy. First thing we need to do is add the repo for Istio. 
I'm just going to copy and paste here so I don't take too long. We're doing Helm repo adding and we're going to name this Istio and there's a URL. We then need to do Helm repo update. This will pull the latest versions for this specific repo, though we are going to use this particular version. And then we can do Helm repo list. And there you go. It is in there. So the first thing we need to do is add the Helm Istio base and we're going to do Helm install. Istio dash base, that's just the name that we want to, it doesn't really matter what you want to name it here, but makes sense to call it Istio dash base. And this is where the chart is actually placed. It's in Istio for slash base. We're going to pass in the namespace, create it. We're going to do the version 1.18.2. And I'm going to set the profile to demo. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. The Istio's uh, CRDs or custom resource definitions. So this will have the services, the cluster roles, et cetera. So once that is done, now we need to install Istio D, which is the control plane. Now I'm going to be passing in a few variables here. If you are using your own Kubernetes cluster and you have plenty of resources, this will do. So we're doing Helm install. We're going to call it Istio D because it's Istio D. It's under Istio and it's called Istio D. We're going to pass in the namespace, Istio, which we already created in the last one, Istio system, the specific version, 1.18.2. Again, that's the one that we're being tested on. And we're going to set the profile. You can press enter and that will work. In our labs, this will not work because by default, it's going to try to use a lot more memory and CPU than is available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a few parameters in here. And don't worry if this doesn't make sense to you. We already talked about it, but we are going to have a look at it in the terminal in the next demo and in the next lab. But this is basically when you're using the Istio operator, you can set specific parameters in here. And what we're doing here is we're setting the Istio pilot to only request 128 meg for memory and to only use, I guess, 250 M of a CPU, which would be a quarter of a CPU, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter there. And I'm going to clear this. Let's do kubectl get pod and istio system. And it's still creating it. And there it is. It's running now. And now the last thing I need to do is install the last chart, which is the gateway chart. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And we're just going to do Helm install istio ingress is the istio forward slash gateway. This is going to be in a new namespace called istio ingress. We actually might need to do dash dash namespace here. Let's do namespace is to ingress. It's going to create it. I'm going to press enter. And now let's see if we get any pods in this kubectl get pods dash n. And there you go. We have our Istio ingress. Remember this profile did not. We didn't pass in to create the egress gateway. This will do for now. Now let's go ahead and install the Redis application. So let's do kubectl run Redis. We're going to do image equals Redis. And let's clear this to kubectl get pods. And you'll see that it's zero of one because this is, does not have Istio enabled. So what we need to do is add we just install Istio. Now, if you recall on the last lab in the last demo, we do have to label our namespace. So let me go ahead and copy that command. And we are going to label the default namespace with the Istio injection enabled. I'm going to go ahead and label that. Let's do kubectl get pods again. You'll see that it is running. Let's get rid of this container and let's recreate it again. kubectl delete pod redis. Okay. And it's going to delete that. Let's do get pods again. And then let's clear that. And now let's do run again. And let's do Redis. Get pods again. And it's initializing. And then now we have our proxy in here. Let's do describe pod Redis. And you see right here that we have two containers now under the containers. We have the Redis and we have the Istio proxy. Let's do Helm list all and you can see that we have our three charts here we have our base again our crds our custom resource definitions very important we need the istio d which is the control plane the heart of it and then we have our istio ingress a chart in here so that about covers it for installing istio using helm if you're interested in mastering istio and leveling up your cloud native skills check out our comprehensive istio certified associate course on CodeCloud. 
We offer hands-on labs, real-world examples, and everything you need to pass the ICA exam. Click the link below and get started today.